In Cell Designer version 9, we now model all overflows in a link type, as opposed to simply adding the overflow to the overflow node, as we have done previously. This now allows you to model two outlet links from any one particular node. And if the overflow link diameter is set to order sizing, the program will then size the link based on the flow. So just to illustrate how that works, I'm going to go edit, so graphical edit data. And I'm editing this node over here. OK, so what I'm doing I'm going to change the overflow node to this particular node over here, 1000, that I've pre-selected. Close that. OK, and you'll see the overflow node is now visible. I can just quit. The link should be visible. OK, so that would be the displaying of the overflow links. If you didn't have that visible, you would just have to go to display settings, make sure it's on. OK, so just to illustrate now how that would then analyze or how the program would then analyze that and size the link for you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to graphically edit this link over here. OK, so just results wise, you can see the flow is 204 liters per second. So I'm going to just set a control there, maximum flow in the link. Let's go make it 100 liters per second and then quit, you can escape, and then I'm going to run an analysis now so we can see analysis network, next, renumber, recalculate. So we're restricting the flow in that link. Just to show you now, so program has sized the link and there's that remainder of the flow after restricting that flow to 100 liters per second. Just going into the render so we can see what that looks like. Got a few predefined render views over here. Okay, so that's zooming into the, the upstream node where we've defined the overflow. Okay, so now we're actually analyzing and sizing those overflow links, giving the ability to model two outlet links from a node in Civil Designer version 9.